And Eric Clapton fans may like to know that we'll be showing the Buddy Guy Eric Clapton concert in full in January. Next tonight, we join Dickie Davis for the Fosters World Double Snooker Championship. Right, you're asked to appear as a centrefold in a magazine. Now, for £10,000, would you do it nude? It's a question of scruples, the game of moral dilemmas. Bison. Joe. Bison. Crystal dark is fun. Crystal dark is heaven. Crystal dark is magic. Crystal dark forever. Crystal dark, today's lead crystal. When your child's off color, you don't have to give him artificial coloring to make him feel better. So here's a range of children's medicines with all the artificial color taken out. And it's made by Boots. That's better. When your child's feeling out of order, turn to Boots Medicines. With a taste as famous as ours, Heinz really is. Super Troopers. Like good old Heinz chicken soup, just one of the much-loved soups in a range that's always made Heinz Britain's favourite. Super grand. God, really does look nice. Heinz chicken soup. The classic masculine fragrance. The mark of a man. Terry's famous chocolate orange. Smooth milk or plain chocolate with real oil of orange. How safe is yours? From the moment you're born, electricity is working for you in its own unique way. Shaping your life and the world around you, powering the latest advances in technology and science, along with countless ways of making life easier and more enjoyable. Everything from big screen entertainment and making a home to small screen reassurance and the making of memories. All through your life, electricity, energy for life. Wherever you might be, remember the ember this December. Leave after the morning rush with a day's freedom to travel all over Greater London on just one card. Catch up with old friends. Drop in on the family. Take a gander round the shops. Treat yourself to a show. Go home anytime. The new One Day Capital Card. Unlimited travel on London's trains, underground and buses. It gives you more power to swan around London. Good evening, the LWT News headlines. Police are questioning a man in South London after the discovery of the body of a two-year-old boy in a house in Thornton Heath. Scotland Yard say police were called to an address in Halbury Road where they discovered the body of Joseph James Vertesi lying in bed. A man in the house was arrested. A post-mortem later revealed the cause of death was asphyxiation. Harlow's Conservative MP Jerry Hayes says the government must get to grips with the financing of the National Health Service. He says ministers must wake up to the crisis in the NHS. If they fail to do so, he says, the electorate will find it hard to trust the Tories again. Few district health authorities will be within their budgets next year, says Mr Hayes, meaning more ward closures. 
And finally, seven oak saplings were planted in Seven Oaks in Kent. They're to replace the ancient trees which gave the town its name and which were blown down in October's hurricane. That's tonight's local news. We'll be back with more next Friday evening. Now here's Dickie Davis with Snooker. Good evening. With the Fosters World Doubles Championship getting into its stride, the quarterfinal lineup is taking shape in this quarter of a million pound event. This afternoon, Dean O'Kane and Jim White beat Cliff Wilson and Warren King 5 2 to take their place in the quarters alongside Hallett and Henry. In the top half, the lineup will be completed by this evening's tie between David Taylor and Eddie Charlton and Cliff Thorburn and Dennis Taylor. Thorburn and Taylor, a new combination, are 6 to 1 on to win the match and 9 to 4 favourites for the tournament. Charlton and David Taylor are in their second year as a team. Last year they fell at the fourth round stage. Well, they won the first frame, but the favourites levelled it in the second. So let us start with frame three, with Jim Meadowcroft and Rex Williams describing the play. Eddie is at the table, and he's 17 points adrift. One. Far stroke. One Taylor Charlton, six 